Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon Sword in the last episode. Uh, we made it through uh, this uh, the water gym uh, sort of challenge, and now it's time to battle Nessa. We went through the power showers and everything. Like, seriously, like, if I can't go in that, then it is the biggest power shower ever. What would it be, like, in 10 seconds, all your hair falls out, and then 20 seconds later, you lose your scalp. It'd probably be something like that. Anyway, let's move on to battle Nessa, the gym leader. Gym mission cleared. Wave in! Do you they could have added in poses? That would have been nice. I don't think my pose... I don't think I want my pose to be waving. Alright, gym battle number two. Let's do this. Let's get a quarter of the way to the Pokemon League. We're going to do that dramatic turnaround again. I wonder. Probably yes. I kind of walk a bit weird, like with my hair blowing in the wind, even though we're indoors. Yes, dramatic turn around! Welcome, Honor Gym Challenger. I think you already realized, but I'm Nessa. Sorry to have made you look for me. I don't doubt my humble mission's difficulty, yet you cleared it. Your mind as a Pokemon trainer it must be quite refined. No matter what kind of plan your refined mind may be plotting, my partner and I will be sure to sink it. Yeah, we'll see about that. It's time to fight! Dramatic turnaround again! Let's go! Alright, Nessa! Gym leader number two, let's go! Goldine! To kick off. Alright, Bongo! It's a Goldine, for God's sakes. Here we go, Dynamax is ready if we need it. Which... She's got three Pokemon. Should I or shouldn't I? I should. Max Overgrowth! Let's, let's Dynamax this shit. Alright, Bongo, it's your turn this time. Time to Dynamax! Massive Ball! Massive Thwacky! Have that! Yeah, look at those sticks. The size of those sticks. I'm gonna kick your ass now, Goldine. That Goldine's there going, oh shit, I am in the wrong part of town. Yes, you are. Here's some mushrooms. Have that, Goldine. And the lovely uh, grassy terrain here as well. Lovely grass grew over the battlefield. Goldine is obviously dead. That, that's pretty much overkill right there. Dexter's up level 23. That's very nice. Aracuda. Based off Barracuda, I'm guessing. A fish. There you go. Aracuda. It looks alright. I've seen worse looking fish Pokemon. Bruxish, for example. Bruxish is ugly as hell. Screw it. Here's more mushrooms. And it's dead. Take that, Aracuda. More experience there. Bongo's going to get level 25 if he wins this next match. Dreadnought. Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. Okay, you bring out a Dreadnought. Oh, this is what it evolves into. Tootle. Tootle evolves into Dreadnought. Okay. Oh, and Dreadnought's Dynamaxing as well. Okay. Here we go. All right. Dreadnought then. Massive Dynamax Dreadnought. Have it! Okay. Level 24, so it's pretty, uh... It's pretty powerful. I must say. But still, here comes the Max Ogre. Was my face doing that that entire time? Oh, bongo wealth. Now I know I made the right choice by getting rid of Tootle if this is its evolution. Goodbye, Dreadnought. Victory to us. Level up for Brittany and Bongo. Brittany's up level 20 now. There you go. Nice one, Thwacky. Good job, mate. We completely floored that gym. Didn't take a single hit of damage. Didn't even, didn't even get hit with anything. I may proudly be the strongest member of this gym, but I was totally washed away. Yeah, you were pretty bloody easy. Nessa, you were pretty bloody easy. Cheers for the Dynamax stuff! How? How can this be? 
now that I've battled you, I think I understand. Katita sees victories in the gym challenge with your Pokemon. You have an incredible spirit that may even be strong enough to challenge the champion. Well, thank you for that, I guess. You and your Pokemon are indeed deserving of this gym badge. Handshake. Hearty handshake. That gym badge. There you go. And now we have two. Do you know what? Dynamaxing may just make this game just a little bit easy, so maybe I just won't Dynamax for the rest of the gym battles. Who knows? I can now catch Pokemon up to level 20. You'll want to challenge the fire gym leader next, as you and your Pokemon are now... He'll definitely want to battle you. That fire's next, is it? Okay, cool. Mousetrap, my sincere congratulations for your victory over gym leader Nessa. Please take this commemorative TM. Whirlpool! That's an interesting TM to get. Okay. The user traps the target in a violent swirling whirlpool for four to five turns. Take this too. It's a replica of Nessa's uniform. Do I really want to use that? I might do just for fun. Anyway, let's see how far the Pokemon can go. Indeed. Yeah, Bongo just kicked ass there, didn't he? He just absolutely wrecked that gym. Very nice. Uh, I feel like we'll put Ziggy up front for the moment. Um, for the moment. Yeah, all good. Oh yeah, I was going to check Whirlpool. Can anyone learn Whirlpool? I'm guessing not. Ziggy can learn Whirlpool. So Whirlpool is a move of 35 power. Uh, 85 accuracy. And it can trap your opponent in the Whirlpool for 4 to 5 turns. Do I really need Snarl and Night Slash? Probably not. I'm going to get rid of Snarl. Pin Missile's still useful for type advan for type, so... At least for the moment. But we're going we're gonna to have Ziggy now has Whirlpool. That's one thing I like about, like, Zigzagoon and everyone else. I forgot to go to the ball guy. Do not keep the chairman waiting. Head to the seafood restaurant, the captain's table. So he will not forget the chairman's face. He'll give I'll give you one of his league cards. How can I forget the face of my dry bread? How can I? Chairman Rose is the kind of man who gets down hard if he if he doesn't take care of things he needs to right away. Go to the seafood restaurant as soon as possible, as to not keep the chairman waiting. You seem like some smug bitch. Oh no, I'm going back, ball guy. Ball guy! Ball guy! Lure Ball! There you go. There's something new about that. A uh, Pokemon that is good for reeling Pokemon that you reel in with a rod while out fishing. Very nice. Cheers, Ball Guy. I knew there was just something there. I was like, yeah. Th thanks, Ball Guy. Right. Bike. It's time to bike it. Ooh, we're getting power go. I rammed my bike so far up his ass and did nothing. Fair enough. What's down here? So some shops, possibly? Ah, some incense! Okay. Right, we've got some interesting ones here. So we've got things that can power up grass type, water type, water type again. Uh, rock type, psychic type. Lax Incense, uh, which gives you more evasiveness. Full Incense. Makes the holder bloated and slow moving. So that can be good for things like Trick Room or Gyro Ball. Fair enough. Pure Incense. Keeps wild Pokemon away if the Pokemon's ahead of the pie. And Luck Incense, which is essentially the Amulet Coin. Okay, cool. Well, I'm definitely going to be getting a Rock Incense. That sounds like a good idea to me. And I think we're good. But a rock incense for uh, Krampus because you know I think that's I think that's a it's a decent addition I guess. So Krampus, here's a rock incense for you. Right. I wonder what else this place has got. Oh God. No. 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 Did not want to go nuts there. For God's sakes. Herb shop. Ah. Okay. So nice healing items these, but it makes your Pokemon hate you. So. Not sure if I actually want that. Ooh, a magnet! Ah, nice! Magnet, increase the power of electric type moves. Well, we know who exactly we're going to be giving that to. <coughs> we're going to be giving that to Brittany! 
Very nice. Now, the only one who doesn't have a uh, an item is Ziggy, which is good. All right, let's go into here then. Good old fish and chips. That's what we do. Fish and chip shops. It is actually, to be honest. So there you go. Hello. Oh, Sonya's there as well. Mastrath, let's celebrate your recent victory. How did you know I won? Did Nessa call you and just go, yeah, he won. Oh, well, good thing I booked this table. Oh, you were invited too? You two know each other? That's great. Come now, please be seated. I love the way you're just... You're, you're, you're. I'm guessing this is supposed to be some sort of disguise for Rose, I'm guessing, at this point. Holbury is a seafood town. Yeah, we call them seaside towns here. Not seafood town. Naturally, if one is going to be eaten here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. I'll honest note, fish and chip shops do have some nice stuff. I like them. Like, in my town, there's like three. Like, we're nowhere near the seaside. I live in a market town. But, like... We got like three fish and chip shops. No, four actually. There's one down Watermore. Ah, yeah, that's four. Like a four in my in this area and everything. There's actually one just down the road. Um, it was usually horrible, but I think they've uh, started getting better now, which is good. By the way, how is Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite indebted. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I'm quite indebted to her, you know. Sorry, I saw the name Rose and expected a female voice. Keep forgetting that this guy's name's Rose, because I keep calling him Madry Bread. She was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of the Wishing Stars and use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We would never have been able to create Dynamax bands without her. Hmm. She was saying there's still so much we don't know about Dynamaxing. It's causing us some worry. Right, I'm calling it now that... Dynamaxin is like the Dragon Balls in Dragon Ball GT, where sort of like if it's used too much, a great evil is sent forth or something like that, or released from it or something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to predict something like that is going to happen. She made me uh, take a power spot detector with me when I started traveling. A power spot detector? That's the device that allowed me to discover the power spots. Locations that emit Galar particles and allow Pokemon to Dynamax. I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is so worried, though. If only there was something I could do. Sonya, it may be good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history preserved there. Also, uh, the, the, the Philosopher's Stone may be there, too. Who knows? It's going to be in a vault somewhere. God, why, why is she... Why, what, what is that face? What? What is that? I don't understand. She just seems like really doesn't want to be here. It was like... <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have gone to the bleeding interview. You know, like, that, that's that's the face right there. Understood, Chairman. I'll arrange a meeting with Miss Sonia. However, I believe it's about time we get going, Chairman. Hmm. Well, I've hardly had a chance to speak with Master Ath. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can't be helped. If something needs to get done, there's no time like the present, after all. In any case, I bid you farewell. You better have paid for the food! You're an ass if you didn't. I know your strategies, Rose. Does he think he's doing me a favor? He's right that the vault could be a good place to look into the legends, but... You got the water badge, yeah? Defeating Nessa is no small feat. Is for me. I beat her in three turns. Here's a TM as a reward. Please be something good. Please be something good. Okay, that's actually good. Retaliate. All right. Uh, the user gets revenge for a fainted ally. If an ally fainted in the previous turn, this move's power is increased. Retaliate is a pretty decent move, actually. Fair enough. This is a good friend. Perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, Jim Challenger. Right, we just got retaliate. I said retaliate is a pretty decent move. Um, so that's a bit retaliate. It's got 70 base power anyway. And Saruk and Ziggy can learn retaliate. Do I get rid of headbutt for retaliate? No. Headbutt's more useful. At this point. How about Saruk of D? Oh, I can definitely get rid of Swift for it. Yeah. 
I'll get rid of Swift for Retaliate. So it's a pretty strong normal type move on its own. But then you carry the fact of if one of my Pokemon faints, I send Sir Rook out, who's pretty fast. And then I can just like destroy any opponent. It's nice altogether. Go away! Go away, Hop. Alright, mate. You got the grass badge and the water badge by now, right? In that case, we both headed to Motostoke and the fire gym leader, Kaboo. Really? Motostoke's the next place we need to go? How about I share a little tip about the leader, Kaboo? You might have heard he's holed up in Galar Mine number two, undergoing some special training. If he's in there, then we can't take him on mo in Motostoke, even if we zip right over there. Putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So I say we head to Galar Mine number two ourselves. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Well, that's actually it. That's actually a good idea, Hop. I was thinking that myself, but never mind. Right. But out of the way! Tarum tum tum, that guy. Oh wow, we're immediately in Galar Mine number two. Okay. Scraggy's in here! Oh god, I nearly got into a fight with Scraggy. Shellos? It is! It's a Shellos! Hmm. I do need a water type at some point. I mean, I'm not going to pick Shellos. Because on an honest note, I just have way too many sort of defensive tanks. I need something with power. Always got recover. Yeah. I got too many defensive tanks at this point. I need something with more power to it. So... Yeah, don't really want to shell off, but there's a fishing spot there, so I may be able to get a water type from that. Harden. Now part of me wishes I kept Snarl. Oh well. Alright, let's go for another Night Slash. Come on, Ziggy! You can win this. Have it! Nice damage. Ancient power! And you hit it, obviously. Fossils to my face! Does nothing! Right, one more Night Slash should finish it off. Right, I may actually just fish for the rest of this. Parts and see if I maybe I can get a Gen uh, 8 water type. See what I get. It'd be interesting, I guess, wouldn't it? It'd be interesting. Oh. No, you don't, mate. Nope. Oh, God. Oh, it's you again. Ha! <laughs> yeah. No, I'm saying that first. You again. Bloody beady, beady bastard. I'd feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in a battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you would be up for a Pokemon battle. Well, naturally, you dick. It's utterly inconceivable that I, the challenger chosen by the chairman, will lose. I've already beaten you in that part that never came out because I deleted the save file by mistake. But yeah, we've already beat this guy. Pretty handily. He's got an entire psychic team. And Ziggy can wreck right through it. Night Slash. Go! Have it, Solosis. Have that. Next! No, I've grown a lot more. Like, for example, you still have a whole psychic team. Ponyta. No, you don't. You got Ponyta now. Well, I got I got a move just for Ponyta. Okay, this is Galarian Ponyta. I'm get. Is it psychic? It's psychic. It is a psychic type. Oh, is it psychic fairy? No, I wouldn't have been able to be super effective against that. I know it's psychic, but I don't know if it, I don't know what else it is. Yeah, that super potion is not gonna save you. Okay, it might do. Please get a crit, Ziggy. That. Ah. Okay, you're back down to red. I'm gonna go for a pin missile here. Take that. All right, nope, it's definitely psychic type. All right, there goes Galarian Ponyta. And uh, Ziggy gaining some very nice experience from all of this. Level 24. Very nice. Hatina is next up. It's this thing. It's got anticipation. Night Slash will be 
perfectly fine to beat this psychic type. Bring it on! Take that! So, BD, I'm gonna call you B Day because you wash asses. Anyway, level up for Sir Rook as well. Very nice for Sir Rook of D. And Gothita. So the only thing that you, the only, yeah, not everyone can corner your team like that. No, this isn't the cornering, mate. This is an oh god, what am I gonna do? Because your team just can't take out a dark type like Ziggy. Dark type, Ziggy. You just got your ass kicked, washer of asses. Take that. Gothita's down as well. The only Pokemon that gave me slight problems was your Ponyta. That's it. Krampus is up level 25. Britney's up level 21. And we beat the B-Day. You showed at least a little effort, so I decided I should let you win. Yeah, bollocks, mate. Bollocks. Big, dangly bollocks, mate. Pardon me, it seems I must take back my words. You're not weak, you just lack talent. Your chances of completing the gym challenge are pretty slim, I must say. Here, I'll give you this. Something to show you at least tried. What, and swept your entire bleeding team? Now, where shall I go next to collect wishing stars? One us! What an ass! Right, let's let's do some fishing. Fish. Uh, uh fish. What are we gonna get? Barboach. Not really interested in. I want a Gen Eight Water type. Come on. I don't want Barboach. Don't give me Barboach. To be honest, it could be a decent option to try and level Brittany up here as well. <clears throat> Especially with Brittany having the magnet now. So, yeah, why not? We'll give Brittany a couple of levels, I guess. Why not? That's a Noibat! That's a Noibat over there! Oh! And... Oh, God, it's that thing. It's the thing that evolves into Galissapod as well. There's just Barboaches here. Don't think I'm going to get much out of this. Barboach. Not water... It's... Yeah, it's, it's, it's water ground, so... Yeah. Oh, no! Don't rest, you sod. There you go. Is it really just... There's Noibats here. There's so, there's so many good... There's so much good stuff here. And I rode the line in too fast. Come on, one more fish. There you go. Shuckle! There's a Shuckle here! Oh, part of me really wants to get Shuckle. <coughs> no, just another Tootle. Oh, well, Brittany can take out a Tootle. Pretty certain of that, even level 21 tutel. Let's go for a nuzzle! Come on, Brittany! Okay, damage. Nuzzle isn't a, an incredibly strong move, so that's not bad. I guess. Also, I like the fact it's got flail as well, because flail is a decent move if you're like really low on health, so yeah, it's pretty powerful, really. Um, so yeah, just keep nuzzling for the moment. Some damage in. Yep, you're paralyzed. All right, and Brittany wins a match. That happened, didn't it? Good old Brittany. Yeah, this place got some interesting stuff. Chuck a shuckle. It's got scraggies. It's got um, noy bats even. That's interesting. Nice experience for everyone as well. Ooh, a noy. No, I know. I, as much as I kind of do want to have a noy bat on my team. I, I, I'm keeping with my Gen 8 team so far. Right, let's go one more. Another Barboach. No, no, this just isn't happening. It's just not happening, is it, I'm afraid. Poor Brittany, no leveling up. I do want to get a Water-type Pokemon on my team at some point. It's got Water Pots. Oh, God. Ugh. Okay. Yes, all right. Now Flail is at least a little more, bit more powerful, so cheers for that, mate. Anyway, guys, I'm going for a break here, but in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sword, we will be carrying on through the Galar Mine number two and finding the third um, gym leader. I'll see you then.